Indian space scientists today did what no others have done before them, launched 10 satellites at one go. In fact, in the space of 16 minutes, here's an exclusive report from Ground Zero, Sri Harikota. It is here at the Satish Dhawan Space Center in Sri Harikota that the countdown began at 7.53 a.m. last Saturday. The mission, a first in Indian space history, 10 satellites to be launched at one go. 9.10 a.m. 13 minutes before liftoff, scientists run last-minute system checks. On a complicated PSLV rocket, that would eject the satellites into orbit at the right time and right angle, one after another. The cluster of satellites include latest remote sensing satellites, Cartosat 2A, equipped with a high-resolution camera and would be used for mapping or spying. The PSLV had to place in orbit the mini satellite and eight nano satellites built by universities and research institutions in Canada and Germany. At 9.17 a.m., Mission Control is informed of a low pressure building in the Bay of Bengal and the possibility of last minute delays. The tension builds. The scheduled time of launch was 9.23 a.m. After last minute checks, the weather experts were contacted to see if this window was perfect for the PSLV C9 to take off. Five minutes later, the scientists confer and agree on going ahead. The countdown begins. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Yes, the vehicle has lifted off. 9.23 a.m. The PSLV blasts off. History is made. In the control room, the mood was tense and also full of hope. For the entire 19 minutes after the rocket launch, there was breathless anticipation as one by one the satellites were put into orbit. 14 minutes later, after liftoff, the fourth stage of ISRO's workhouse launch vehicle blasts off. Ten satellites are injected into the 635-kilometer polar sun-synchronous orbit. 9.38 a.m. The mission control declared mission accomplished. The designation here in the, the mission was perfect and the spacecrafts were delivered on the dot. And for ISRO, it's a historic moment. Even as India has entered a new realm in space research, there is more to come. India's first ever unmanned moon mission, Chandrayaan-1. Like you said, now we are all set for Chandrayaan. So when will we see the first unmanned mission? We hope by third quarter of this year we should be able to go to the moon. It will be an instrumented payload which will go around the moon and uh, try to have the map uh, in terms of the terrain. On this historic day, Indian space scientists are confident of a bright future. The ambitious space program plans three Chandrayaans and then two Indian astronauts will be sent into space seven years from now. With camera person Jay Prakash in Sri Harikota, Dhanya Rajendran for Times Now.